Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so um, it looks like you're having a bit of problems communicating with somebody. There seems to be a little bit of an, um, you know, almost an argument over there uh, that's causing, uh, that's due to uh, problems with, um, you know, getting your message across to them. So you, are, you seem to be crossing swords with somebody or, um, you know, butting heads with somebody at the moment. Um, and this person seems to have a lot of power in their hands. You've got this uh, lion over here, and they seem to be stirring up a lot of problems. Um, and, um, you know, um, maybe there's somebody in authority uh, that you're not really getting along with. You've got the fish card over here. At the bottom, it looks like money is coming in for you. So despite all these problems that you're going through with this person at work, it seems like, you know, uh, money will be coming in for you. Uh, some kind of payout, maybe, uh, but there's some extra cash coming in with this fish card over here. Now, in the past, you've got the star uh, card over there was talking about getting recognition, fame, uh, maybe even communicating with a lot of people on a very international basis because the stars, you know, they're all over. So, you know, um, uh, maybe um, internet communication, uh, some kind of communication where there's a lot of people, but it's giving you a lot of fame. A lot of, um, uh, a lot of people are... Um, you know, you're collaborating with a lot of people, in other words. You've got the sun card of here. So there is fame that is coming in or has come in recently. Uh, and maybe with the sun card of here, you have been working very, very long hours as well. The sun card brings in a lot of positive energy. So, um, you know, you have, um, you've gotten a lot of recognition for something that you've done. Uh, maybe there's some reward, of some award that has come in as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the letter card of here. So some good news coming your way. Uh, and uh, it's something that's going to improve your finances. And you've got the luck card, the clove card over here. So this is talking about financial success. So you're going to get some good news uh, as far as money goes. It looks like there is finances or money coming in because you've got the fish and then above it you've got the letter and the clove so your luck is changing it looks like things are getting better for you and it looks like money is going to be coming in despite the fact that you are dealing with difficult people we're having problems uh, communicating with them so those are the energies for those two weeks so this is the celtic dragon tarot and i'm going to use this for the main read So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Cups. So this is achieving whatever you desire. So achieving your goals, achieving satisfaction, but with the help of somebody. So there's somebody around you that's going to give you some kind of assistance. You can see um, this dragon offering this woman, this person, this cup. So there's somebody there that can help you uh, achieve the goals that you want. Uh, you need to approach this person. Uh, they are higher up as far as um, you know your career ladder goes, uh, and they will be able to be a mentor or inspire you and be able to give you that help and assistance you need to get to where you want to be. Uh, you might need to be uh, you know um, very sweet to them really uh, to get that help that you need but you need to approach them and they will be there they're ready to help you they're ready to give you their helping hand and once they do that you will be able to achieve the things that you want so there is going to be somebody around you or there is somebody around you that is there uh, to help you get um, ahead in life as or ahead in your career but you do need to approach them see she's standing on the shore over there um, so you do need to bridge that gap um, you know you need to be the one that makes that effort to go and approach them to ask for help so what's happening with you? You've got the Five of Cups over here and the Six of Pentacles. So you have been going through quite a difficult period. The Five of Cups is talking about loss. It's about, you know, um, you know, not succeeding where you thought you would succeed. It's also being very depressed or upset or miserable or regretting the things that you didn't actually achieve. So you are focusing too much on the things uh, that you have not achieved and uh, you need to actually start focusing on the future, start making some future plans um, and stop being depressed about it. You've got this cloud and the moon over there. So you are, uh, you know, feeling a bit uh, sorry uh, for yourself, um, you know, maybe just feeling a bit unhappy, really. And thinking about all the things that you haven't achieved or the things that have, you know, things where you were let down in situations. So you need to actually focus on the cups that are standing or the things that you can 
control, uh, you know, situations that you can control in order for you to open doors for yourself. You've got a doorway over here, and if you don't see the door, you'll never go through it. So uh, by focusing on the things that have uh, you have not achieved, you are not seeing the opportunities that are now uh, present or being presented to you. You've got the Six of Pentacles over here, and this is a card about helping uh, people, helping you out. So you have gone through, you know, this is the card that uh, follows the five of pentacles. So you have gone through a situation where you have had loss. Uh, there might have been, uh, you know, um, in the form of financial loss. Uh, maybe you lost a job or something where there, there has been, uh, where you have gone through a period of lack. Um, but there has been help. So there is, a, uh, you know, money coming in for you with the Six of Pentacles. Now, it looks like with this uh, Nine of Cups, it might be the same person that you can go and ask for, uh, you know, financial assistance. Or it also could be somebody that will even give you a job, somebody that will help you out in this particular situation. So there is somebody around you that's pretty generous. Uh, but you can see this man having to make that effort to go up to that uh, dragon to get the coins. So whoever is offering you help and assistance, you're going to have to make the first move. It might take a little bit of effort on your part in the sense of, you know, there might be paperwork that you have to get through or you have to do something in order for you to, um, you know, get that financial assistance, but it will come to you. So there will be um, financial help or aid or even a new job, something in the financial aspect that is coming your way um, if we, to get you out of this difficult situation. So whatever you went through, this five of cups, it looks like with the six of pentacles, you are going to be able to get through it. So in the past, you've got the three of cups over here. So you were dealing with uh, some situation. There's uh, three people involved in over here. You might have been working with three people where you're or collab collaborating with each other, sharing a lot of um, ideas. Um, and you've got the three of wands. So this might have been people on, you know, working on an international basis. Maybe you'll put out a project. You're working together on some particular project. And you'll seem to have gotten along pretty well. It, there was money coming in with it. It seems like you'll have accumulated wealth. Uh, you know, working with these people and projects, uh, you know, you launched projects out. Maybe these projects uh, you thought were going to be successful didn't turn out to be or didn't turn out the way you expected it to. And you're very, very disappointed that you didn't achieve the things that you needed to achieve. So it looks like, uh, you know, you started off pretty well. You worked pretty well with, with people. This is about putting out projects. You know, this is international communication uh, overseas, um, trying to launch something out there and maybe there wasn't uh, it wasn't as successful as you hoped it would be so what's in your mind you've got the knight of cups over here so uh, you want a new offer to come in you want something uh you know that you can use uh, maybe you you want somebody that you can work with uh who understands you whom you get along better with with this knight of cups so you're hoping that some kind of offer comes in for you that allows you to work and something that gives you a lot more satisfaction than what you've been doing now, you've got the Wheel of Fortune over here, the 10. So it looks like things are going to be changing away. It might also mean that you need to do some more research or do some study as well um, in order to improve this. So it looks like, you know, you're going to have to hit the books over here. You've got this person reading. There's maybe some information that uh, you need to look or uh, look for or um, that needs to come your way in order for you to change the way you're doing things. You might need to change your mindset about how you do things or the way you approach this particular problem. Now, you've got the Magician card over here, so you can see books again and study. So there is some kind of research that you need to do. Magician is somebody that manifests. Uh, you need this piece of information or you need uh, maybe this advice, uh, something that you need, that you need to research, look for uh, in order for you to move forward, in order for you to manifest or make plans for the future. You can see this Magician looking forward to the future. So there's something that you need to go and research. You need to find out about a missing piece of information that will allow you to manifest whatever this project is that you have in mind. You'll have to change your way of thinking. And it's going to keep you pretty busy as well. The magician is always somebody who multitasks. It's the card ruled by Mercury. So it's, you know, there's a lot of uh, strategic planning that you're going to need to do uh, in order for you to get this project off the ground. Once you do, this project is going to take off. You've got the world card over here. So something that you want to launch on that international front. Uh, you want it to get out there and, um, you know, it looks like there's always this figure of there's three dragons here. Actually, there are four dragons here. Um, it looks like there's something that you need to um, go and do that research, put a lot of hard effort into it, uh, and it will go, uh, you know, you'll be able to launch it on an international basis and that will bring the money in. 
So there's something that you're trying to put out there uh, that maybe didn't work out well the first time round. Um, maybe you need somebody to invest in your particular business. And maybe this is what you're looking for, uh, some kind of investor with this Knight of Cups over here. And that is probably what you're looking for here with this Nine of Cups over here. So you might be looking for some kind of financial investment even here with the Six of Pentacles, somebody to give you money to launch this project. Maybe you launched it the first time around and you worked with, you know, you went um, into partnership with maybe three other people uh, or two other people and it didn't pan out the way you wanted to. There has been some kind of missing information. So the Wheel of Fortune coming into turn and the Wheel of Fortune is generally a, quite a positive card. So whatever problems you've had, uh, you know, you, you're able to overcome it. There's some change coming in over here. You might need to send um, out a communication or a letter. You've got that quill and ink over there. Uh, there is some kind of missing information that uh, you need in order for you to make this project uh, manifest itself. And it, once you do that, uh, you'll be able to reach quite an international audience. Uh, so there looks like there's success coming with it. Um, once you, you get that piece of information. So there's something that's keeping you really bound up. You have been very, very focused on this. And maybe you're feeling very, very negative about it because it didn't work out the first time. You've got this chains of the devil card over here. You might be dealing with very difficult people. There might be some toxic kind of person that you're dealing in that's not allowing you to move forward. So somebody is holding you back uh, from actually being free uh, and, um, you know, launching this project out. So there's something that is going on that's preventing you from being successful or somebody preventing you from being successful. They're basically tying your hands. So there could be legal issues that you're dealing with or somebody around you that is making it very difficult for you uh, to actually be successful in this particular project. You've got the Six of Cups, the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. So the Six of Cups is talking about working with people that you knew from the past. Um, you know, um, maybe you've worked with them before and you worked pretty well with these people. So it looks like you're going to reunite with somebody from the past and you're going to be able to work on this particular project together. You've got the Page of Pentacles over here and this is about learning. Um, this is about, um, you know, being able to sort your finances out, being able to take whatever idea you have and um, allow it to produce financial rewards. So that is coming in for you. But it looks like you're going to have to do further study as well. There's something that you need to learn. There's some kind of missing information that you need. There's some kind of skill that you need to learn in order for you to make this project successful. So you're going to have to hit the books. It also means that you might have to do some research as well. And the Page of Pentacles is also about being able to manage your money uh, well. So maybe you have to learn how to manage your money as well uh, in order to get this project uh, to be successful. But there is somebody that uh, you're going to need to ask for some kind of advice or assistance from. And relying on your intuition as well there, uh, you know, going by your instincts. And you've got the Four of Cups over here. So um, there might be some offer that comes in to you that you're not quite uh, impressed with. Uh, you're not really, you don't really want to consider it. Maybe it's not ticking any of the boxes that you wanted. So this woman's looking at these cups, you know, uh, and whatever they have is not what she wants. So maybe you're going for that ultimate goal. Um, you know, you're trying to get it um, launched. You're trying to get this project launched. People are making offers to you and you're not very keen on whatever they're offering to you. Uh, you're not willing to accept less than what you expect in other words. So there is some kind of missing information that you need to find out uh, and you might need to do some research. It looks like you're going to be working with somebody from the past, but things are about to change for you and they are about to go on to this international um, arena, um, but you have to find out what that piece of information is. You have to do that research and this is multitasking. You've got to be, you know, if you're planning on going off on your own, you have to be good at every aspect of it. And it looks like you are in the process of manifesting. So be positive about what it is. Uh, and um, that is how positive things come into your life. There looks, it looks like there is going to be some kind of assistance, some kind of investment, somebody giving you the helping hand to get ahead. So uh, this is the uh, fairy tarot. And uh, the first card is the five of autumn. So reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for career change, feeling challenged by money issues. So I guess that does say it all. You have to ask for that help. You know, you have to make that approach to that person to ask for that assistance. It's not going to come your way automatically. Um, and, uh, you know, you, 
you are worried about finances. You are really worried about money and worried about this project generating money. Um, the Dreamer card is the Fool card, which is starting this new thing again. Uh, well, starting again. Begin a new adventure and trust yourself. So you have to go with your instincts. You know, it seems like it's a good idea. Um, and it looks like, you know, you have got the faith in it uh, to make it prosper. Uh, but you just have to have the confidence. Then you've got the World card over here, which says a brilliant success. Freedom to go in any direction. A journey that is now complete. So you've got the World card coming in. Um, twice. So whatever this project is, it looks like it's going to go international and it looks like it's going to be quite successful as well. You're going to have to put in the work and the effort, of, of course, uh, because, you know, the work card is ruled by Saturn. Saturn talks about lo lots of lessons. It talks about being very, very planned up, um, you know, and you have to have, uh, be very precise in what you want. You've got to be very goal-driven, very ambitious in order for you to be successful and it looks like you know you've got the full card here and the world card so whatever you start off here will be a success you know it will be it the success will come to you pretty quickly as well um so you need to just have that confidence and go ahead and ask for help there looks it looks like you know if you want investment somebody will invest in whatever it is you want uh but you have to be positive and stop um uh, dwelling on the fact that it didn't work the first time maybe the circumstances have changed and it will now be successful so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye